good kitten internet. Hi, Boo. Oh, I don't have my other webcam plugged in right now. Hmm. Moment. All right, uh, kitty cam set up now, but of course Boo decided to leave, so that will just have to be for later. So, how's it been? It's been about a week since I last recorded. Um, wanted to make sure. Yep, we are on chapter three, scene one. Um, so. Before I do anything, just wanted to briefly mention, so, um, last video got released on my birthday, and I have not had the greatest of weekends. Uh, to give you just one example of what I mean by not the greatest of weekends, this, right here, this is a stick of RAM. This is a stick of RAM from the computer that I'm currently talking from. The second stick of RAM from the computer I'm currently talking from is currently upstairs in my bedroom, currently being looped over and over and over again for memory testing, and the last memory test result gave me 3,140 errors. My RAM appears to be faulty. Luckily, I happen to have another computer with the exact same amount of RAM, just different manufacturer of the... or different... OEM of the RAM. Uh, I think that actually the RAM sticks themselves are identical, uh, but just happens... I just happen to have the exact same configuration. Otherwise, this isn't possible because I use more than 16 gig of RAM to do everything, including, well, record this. I need to drop my volume. Um, so like for instance, right now, I've recently rebooted my computer. Uh, looking at my memory utilization, I am using 15.9 of 32 gig of RAM. I would have approximately 100 mega, nope, it just went up to 16, Never mind. I would have no free available memory I don't even have every application open right now. That's just one thing. There's been a lot. This weekend's been a lot. Oh, we already did this. Oh, right. This is my second recording of this as well. Sorry. Um, so last time we arrived in this very strange location, which... Uh, Sasha actually discovered has a translation difference, and this random person came by and went, Hey, look, maybe you should go to the only town in this place. And it truly is the only town in this place. Um, what you saw on the map is the totality of the map for right now. These houses are looking really old, or really old looking. Words are hard. Huh? Well, that's not true. That house over there is, like, ultra-modern. Actually, in the future. Huh. You're right. Both old and new. So, we are going to start getting an idea as to what this place is like. Um, the last time I recorded this, I went to the shop and discovered that there's absolutely nothing new for sale whatsoever. So, we're just going to skip that. Well, actually, I might need some items. I don't think I do, though. Uh, yeah, the only new thing is this aura gem. You know, I even buy an aura gem elsewhere. Hold on a moment, let me look that up. Turns out I can't find a complete shop list. Um, I can get these elsewhere though. No, oh, I'm not gonna waste the money. I can pick them up in a battle. Oh, let's go ahead and go to the tavern because that's where everybody is, as usual. That is a really big bottle of alcohol of some variety. The thing that's next to the um, hourglass it's really weird. Let's talk to the innkeeper. Welcome. Huh. Never seen you here before. <laughs> what brought you this god's forsaken wreck of a place anyway? Bad luck, I guess? Oh, what are you talking about? Oh, this is a loophole in time. This is the town at the end of the world. It exists beyond space and time. So we're at the tavern at the end of the universe. Thank you, I'll be here all night. Mm, the flow of time is not an absolute. Like the weather. 
and when the weather is right, stars are positioned in a certain manner. Might be rips, you know. Sometimes those rips appear as they please, and might even swallow a dog or even a living person whole. So it appears as though this is something that happens, um, and it might just make a person disappear. Now, where have we heard that before? Ah, uh, yes, most of the people who enter a warp just get spit out elsewhere, but some people wind up in this damn town. Like us. Oh, you want to leave this town? Simple. Exit this town and keep walking. Winds of time will take you, well, somewhere. You can't predict when and where you'll appear, though. Also, she looks remarkably like Sarah as a monk. Um, I don't think this is an intentional relation, but it's possible. Because if I remember right, Sarah is an orphan. And it's possible that's her mother. Or her daughter. We don't know. It's kind of the thing with this game. And we've talked to everyone. Oh, looks like we might be stuck here. Long time. I like legends. The ship was once lost in the Belmont waters, only to be found in the middle of the Coast Desert ten years later. Um, I don't. And this is definitely not a reference, but uh, it kind of reminds me of what happened with an old TV show called Sequest, or a maiden from the ancient Karenian Empire who vanished into thin air while strolling around the garden owned by the great writer Tuskal. Said, there's been something that's happened that sounds an awful lot like this, and I know that's what they're hinting at. We've got to get back. I promised the general that we'd stop hell and get the stone back. Oh, yes, are you referring to the magic stone? I don't remember what voice I used for Zohar. That's terrible, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're the guy from before. Yes, I'm Zohar. If you don't mind, please tell me about this, uh, magic stone. Let's go to my town outside of- er, my town outside of home. Uh, my home outside of town and talk about this. That is Eamon. I know that one's Eamon. By the way, we've met almost every character of the game at this point. I do like how Zohar has no chairs. Just Grog standing in the corner. Uh, it looks like Sarah is... That's not her monk outfit, is it? Not sure. Okay. Well, who is insisting... That you gaze upon her magnificence? I see. Huh. You and your companions are trying to stop this man named Hell. Why would anyone give someone named Hell power anyway? You're absolutely sure that this is the right thing to do? Think about it. The generation before you gave up their lives to build an ideal society, and what was the end result? Oh, right. We've let a council turn into a den of thieves and liars. Even during the era of absolute monarchy, there have been times of peace and prosperity, when the country was led by a wise ruler. But that all ended when the foolish king rose to power. There will always be war, but by stopping hell now, who's to say that you won't be paving the way for someone even worse than them? This is an interesting point that I like that Vandal Hearts likes to make. Namely, it's not a black and white morality. Yes, hell is bad. You said it, Bukini. Hell is bad, but... Is he the worst? We don't actually know. And we need to think about whether that changes what we do. Can it get worse? I didn't mean for this to be a giant reference to the United States in the past few years, but apparently... Everybody thinks for a bit. Well... Maybe you're right.
but a brief peace is still better than a war. I can't sit around and do nothing when I know that people are going to die. Hmm. This is the counter-argument to that, namely, evil happens when good people do nothing. And they're both valid points. I suppose it is the struggle that leads dignity to our lives. Well, it's decided I'll help you with your brave mission. And so Har joins our party. So how could we... Ow. Well, there's only one way to get back to your time. First, we have to go back to the exact spot where you were first arrived. Well, we need to walk back. So first off, Zohar is a mage. So, we do have the same spells, but the news is that... Oh, crap. Damn it, I did it again. Ah, one moment. There. Um, so, he's a mage. He's not promoted. This is actually something that I missed when I played through the game my second or third time through. Is that he's unpromoted. I promoted him when he reached level 20, which meant that I was one promotion behind the entire time and kept wondering why in the world he didn't have the correct spells. So the first thing we need to do is go to the dojo. Um, this is, in fact, our mystery mage. And we specifically had said that he was going to become a sorcerer. Um, I did just save, so I'm going to show you what it looks like as a monk. Don't mind me. That's what he looks like as a monk. He's standing upright, he has more confidence, and you can see his eyes a bit better. But we're going to reload, and he's going to be a sorcerer, because... Seriously. Oh yeah, um, what spells does he lose as a sorcerer? Or as a... He doesn't lose any. Why in the world were the healer-based monks losing spells, like... Sarah? That doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway. Oh, wait. The other thing I wanted to do. Uh, we can do a quick comparison between monks, because I think he's the same level as Sarah. Yeah. So, he has plus one defense. That's it. That's the sole difference between him and Sarah. Oh, and plus four MP. So he's a strictly better monk. But... Yeah, I'd rather not have another monk. And don't get me wrong, I like monks. I saved it over here just so we don't have to worry about it. Um, I like monks, but I like sorcerers more. Right. And there he is. He's now smiling. But his portrait looks pretty much the same. But on the plus side, we have another caster. And in this case, we have a caster. We actually have a sword, another sword, a monk, and somebody of finally a different class. <laughs> but he has a new spell. That Eel and I had learned right at the end of the last combat, and I never got a chance to show it. Called Phase Shift. We're going to see a lot of it. Hopefully. So there's something weird about Phase Shift that I need for you to be advised. It can cause motion sickness. You'll see why. Um, I really hope I don't need to put in editing for motion sickness. I have definitely gotten motion sick from it before when I was a kid. That was one, on a CRT. Two, I wasn't feeling great to begin with. So, we'll see. Let's go ahead and leave town at this point. Because there's nothing here for us. I think. 
I should check Zohar's inventory. It just dawned on me. He has a magic stone. Yeah, we should probably get him an herb, shouldn't we? Yeah, let's just get him an herb really fast. Oh, um, something I wanted to point out. The shopkeeper is dressed up in ancient armor. Looks a lot like the random knight in the opening for the Sig Saturn version of the game, now that I'm thinking about it. So far, get an herb. Alright. This is going to be another short video, by the way, because this is another short battle. We're not going to get back to regular battles for a bit. Although, this might be the last one? Yeah, I think this is the last one. Also, there's a chance that this and the next video are going to be connected with each other with no saving point in between. Hey, Grog. Sup. Grog looks weird, though. So. Ah, the preparations are complete. Space-time warp you entered was caused by a powerful magic source. This type of force always creates a mm, counterforce. These mage towers will gather the force and recreate the warp. I sense something. They're back. Oh, these creeps again. Spirits will drain the tower's energy. I suppose we have no choice. We must protect the towers. If this doesn't work now, get back. So, there is something very special about this battle. It is actually extremely easy. So, the defeat is, the defeat condition is Death of Ash or the Towers. Note that it says Towers plural. Technically, all you have to do is take all four characters and just go immediately around a tower and you cannot lose. That's it. But, then we will have the loss of the towers. And remember, I'm trying to do this without any character deaths, and the death of a tower counts as a character death. So I'm not going to be doing that way, but just to let you know, that is a thing that you could do to make this battle so much easier. So, normally, the best, or, so, um, other thing I should note. Um, Let's change the zoom to distant because we're going to be doing that a lot. So there are six enemies? Yes. So there are six Sparkies. We only have four characters. So we need to make sure that the six Sparkies don't reach the towers. The best way to do that is to put a character in each corner. Something to note, though, is that the Sparkies' primary attack pattern... Oh, you notice, one, they're now level eight not level one. So they're just a wee bit harder to deal with. But they're going to try focusing on the mage towers more than anything else, if I remember correctly. Um, so we need to be a little careful, especially now that they're flying units, which mean, even though they're only level eight, so it's not that bad, but I have three characters weak against flying. So I can't, for instance, just have Zohar thwack that guy. I'm actually going to have to care. So this is what phase shift looks like. Look at that area of effect. But it's centered on self. That's the problem with phase shift. So I can hit two sparkies that way. And I think that's the best I can do is hitting two sparkies. So I'm going to. So I gave you a warning before. I will give you a warning again. If you are prone to motion sickness, this might make you sick. Please let me know if any of the viewers are prone to motion sickness. Because I might be doing this a lot. And I really like the spell. Whoop. Yeah. So hard is that awesome. He gained 99 XP off of one spell. What we need to do is kill these goopers. Luckily, 
it's not too hard to kill these goobers. The best way to do this is to manipulate the AI. So the AI, it has a priority. The first priority in this battle is to go after the towers. It actually makes me wonder if the first priority of the AI is always to go after towers, it's just that this is the only battle of the game with them. The second priority is to go after Ash, and the third priority is to go after a target. So as long as somebody is in melee range of where the Sparky is going to go, the Sparky will go there. So. I do that. This Sparky is not going to be able to be reached. I don't think. It's going to have to be next turn. So uh, another thing about this battle is that up to four Sparkies will spawn every turn. It will always have a maximum of six Sparkies on the combat. If you kill all six or if you kill five of them, it'll only respawn four more. But otherwise, it spawns back up to six every round. See? Spawning. I killed three Sparkies. Three Sparkies spawned. See what I mean? Just have to taunt them out. And because they're weak enough, my counterattack is enough to kill them. Yeah, we're going to be leveling up a lot. But we just need to do this for five turns. That's it. Again, all I had to do was taunt them out. Okay, I think they prioritize spawning in the same spots, so I think that they'll spawn here, here, and here every round, but I'm not sure. I don't actually remember. First thing we need to do... Actually, wait, we need to check up on this Sparky. This one might be a problem. Notice how it can kind of go anywhere. So we might need, we might have a problem with that one, and I might need to reload. You'll notice that I'm not, uh, I guess I can save, just in case. But I'm likely, if I mess up, I'm probably going to end up restarting the battle instead of going back to a save. I reach with rolling fire? No. I think I might be screwed and might already need to reload. We'll find out. I'll give you my back. Sarah. Time to become a Kizanart. There we go. Sarah levels up. Again. We are leveling up like mad for this battle. I suppose I can actually hit both of them. I... I don't think I can go close enough. You know, also, notice that it takes 12 MP. I only have... Oh, I actually can. Um, one thing I don't know is if any of his other spells could actually kill them. Because they're not particularly weak against magic. Ooh, that's also higher level. I didn't even notice. That's level 10. Hope I can actually kill them. Yep. You're going to go there, just in case if you don't kill them. I'm not actually sure which of these do more damage. I think Piercing Ray does more. I'm hoping that kills him. I don't think it will, though. Nope. 
This might be a problem. I'm pretty sure the tower is going to fall from them. And I don't want that to happen. But let's find out. Force bond this turn. Makes sense. Yep, going after the tower instead of Ash. See? Things are looking grim, especially since I'm going to have to reload. Yeah, that's the problem, is that it's AI priority based. I need to get Ash over to that side, basically. Yeah, they're just going after towers instead of characters. Because towers are a higher priority than any of the characters. They're destroying the tower! Thank you, Captain Obvious. But they will totally go after a target of opportunity if nothing else is in range. And oh boy, am I getting gobs of XP by doing this. This is actually the one argument that I know of for making... When did the warp open up? Just a little longer. Uh, one argument I know of, of for making Zohar into a um, monk. Because if Zohar is a monk, this battle is actually trivial. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to focus on trying to make sure that no one is ever... I don't think I'm going to be in range with the shift. Or phase shift. I always do that. Yeah. Okay, so phase shift can only affect these two. Uh, maybe they can affect these, actually. No. So yeah, the only way I can get... Phase shift working is by coming over here and phase shift. Once more, I'm using phase shift. Here's your warning. I'm going to fast forward to make this a little easier. Okay, phase shift is done. Okay. Ash is going to be the one to come over here this time. And Sarah is the one that's going to come over here. That should make this better. I think that was the mistake I made before, was not having everybody go as close as they can. I can taunt them correctly. Zohar might still have a problem, but that's why we have Mage Gem. I'm going to have to Plane Shift. That's the only way this is going to work. Yep, that's fine. Ash doesn't take that much damage, and he has gobs of hit points. We're fine. Also, their defense is garbage. I should double check that. Like, I would not expect, given that that is my weakness, I would not expect to be doing this much damage. There's got to be something weird about these Sparkies. Oh boy, that's a problem. I think that might be a reload. Which sucks, because that's just random chance. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, actually, no, I take that back. There is something I can do about that. Uh, Phase Shift should be able to get it. Oh, thank you. Hopefully Phase Shift actually works on it. Well, that one it should. It's the level 10 one that I don't know if it will. I think if I moved here... Can't quite hit the third one, but that's fine. We'll get one Phase Shift off. Fast forward. Okay, I can kill them. Alright, phase shift is done. Zohar is leveled up. Jumping up and down, even though he's an old man that doesn't look like he should be. I do like how his hair just floats in the breeze for his animation and nothing else. Right? 
frog, you are going over to here. And that one. Oh, right, I wanted to take a look at their um, defense, just because it seems weird to me that a flyer would be this weak. Especially against the thing that it should be strongest against. Oh, none of them are alive. I'll have to look next turn, but... I am intentionally moving even closer to this. Actually, I'm going to save first. That's a good idea. On cartridge ramp. Got it. And I'm going to heal up because I might as well. There's nothing else for me to do, and healing is easy. Grog's the only one. Or Grog and Zohar are the only ones who can't heal. Grog's the only one that it matters. here might make the most sense. Might as well run Fairy Light. The battle can't actually last long enough for him to run out of magic anyway, so it's fine. Alright, they will spawn this turn. Anything that spawns this turn cannot possibly kill a tower this turn. So I should be good from this point on, as long as I have enough magic. That's actually the problem. Stomp. Counterattack dead. Are they even going to live long enough for me to be able to look at their... It just dawned on me. Uh, yeah, I should be able to look at Zohar's. Bump. Stab. 5 XP. Bump. Slice. Like I said, easy battle. You just have to think about it. And there's no hidden stuff on this battlefield. I should mention that. That one is going to be the problem. And we've already seen this dialogue. Okay. We know that phase shift will do it. It's just... Okay, let's take a look at the stats on this thing. It has 43 defense. Isn't that significantly better than Zohar? Actually, it's less than Zohar. Okay, that might actually explain a few things. All right. Experimentation time. Can I get away with just using Dark Star. I really hope so, because if I can't, I am boned. Already. Yep. I can't. How do I do this? It's a flyer, so it can just fly over me, so that's not the answer. I can try spellbinding. That could work. There we go. That works. Might as well continue healing yourself, even though you're getting next to nothing in HP. Or in, um, XP. I'm basically just not healing enough for it to make a difference. Um... Five turns, isn't it? Yeah, five turns. And this is turn three. I have two more turns I have to defend. And that's a lot of paralysis that I'm going to need to do. Okay, I need to make sure that there's somebody... ...bubble down there. Because the problem is Zohar's out of magic. He only has two MP left. Oh, actually, he can get off one more, but that's it. And I'm going to need more than that.
think. All right. Might as well have Sarah heal herself. You know what? I think this makes sense. I think they can still reach Grog from that spot, at least the initial spot could. I don't care about using it or but nothing. One more spawn. If you're attacking Zohar, which might be a problem. Oh! I can kill them with a staff. That shouldn't be possible. There's gotta be some weird trickery going on. Well, that just made this trivial. Whoops. Ah. Uh. Seriously, how in the world can Zohar do it? I mean, his attack is 41, their defense is 43, he should be doing one. What is going on? Well, if I would have known. You can't defend, so not too concerned. Zohar levels up again. I don't suppose you gain... No, you only gain maximum. You don't gain your right. Also, he now has a new spell, Roman Fire. Another one we're probably going to be seeing a lot of. Alright, well, I didn't need to move Grog after all. Die. Might as well heal. And the reason why I'm healing is it's free XP that technically helps, and I'm just sitting around not doing anything anyway. I'm not doing anything with my MP. On the plus side, this battle's lasting, uh, this video is lasting longer than the previous ones. In fact, it might actually end up lasting twice the uh, size of both of them. Ah. Whacking Zohar. And Zohar now has enough HP where I'm not too concerned about him getting hit. I believe I'm one-shotting them with a freaking mage. I didn't realize that there was any... Ooh, that's not good. There was any special scripts with this. Oh. Well, that means we killed one fewer than we could have. Oh, it's not the last turn. We're dead. Heal. And item. Herb yourself. Might as well get a little bit more XP, that is. I mean, it's 17 XP. It's not quite free, but close enough. Alright. So if everybody successfully counterattacks, that should 
be the absolute maximum amount of money and XP we can gain from this battle, because we have spawned four every turn. Did we spawn a four every turn, or did we spawn three? No, we spawned four every turn. Yeah, if I would have known Zohar could have just one-shotted it, this would have been a lot easier. Alright, now there should be an even lower chance of me not being able to counterattack. Let's fast forward a bit. Chomp. Nice. Black. All right, in theory, that should be the end. Yep. You win. That is the absolute maximum amount of money you can gain from this battle. I I don't know if I need to end this here, or if I will actually have the opportunity to save. I'll keep going. Hopefully I do have the opportunity, because I'm leaving at this point, obviously. So I may end up abruptly stopping recording, if I do. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Warp gate will open at any moment now. There's it is. That weird... parallel... magical sigils. There it is! Everyone, jump in! Okay, I'm stopping here. Bye!